This is how you can make an advanced webhook create, edit, and delete system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, you will get access to a custom coded Discord bot by my staff team if any of this is interesting to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video we can start off by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and create webhook.js and here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder we can get our permissions bit field and we can get our channel type and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js we can do module.exports we can do equals and open this up we're going to say data and that's going to be new slash command builder we can set a name and this is going Going to be a webhook we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be a manage and edit your webhooks and we can go ahead and add a sub command we can do command arrow function command uh, set name in here we can go ahead and say create then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say create a webhook channel we can go ahead and add channel options and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be channel and then we can go ahead and do dot set description and in here we can go ahead and say the channel you want to create your webhook in then we can add channel types we can do channel type dot guild text let me go ahead and set required and we're going to go ahead and set that to true then we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be name and we can go ahead and do dot set description and we can say the name that you want the webhook to have and go ahead and set required to true we can go ahead and set a min length that is going to be one and then we can go ahead and set a max length and that is going to be 80 and then we can add another string option and we're going to get option arrow function option dot set name that is going to be icon url you can go ahead and do set description and we can say the icon you want the webhook to have we can go ahead and set required to true we can go ahead and set our min value and that is going to be one and we can go ahead and set our max length and that is going to be set to 200 now we can go ahead and create a new sub command so we can do add sub command we can do command and arrow function command dot set name and here we're going to go ahead and say edit we can go ahead and set a description and we can say edits a webhook for you we can go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be webhook id we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the id of your webhook we can go ahead and set required and we're going to make that true then we can add another string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name in here we can go ahead and say webhook token we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the token of your webhook we can go ahead and set a min length that's going to be 10 and we can set a max length and that is going to be 200 and we're also going to go ahead and set required to true now we can add another string option and we can get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be new name we can go ahead and set a description Description, and we can say the new name of your webhook we can go ahead and set required and we're going to go ahead and make that true we can go ahead and set min length to one and we can go ahead and set our max length to 80 after that we can add another sub command so we can do add sub command we can do command arrow function command dot set name this is going to be delete then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say delete a webhook we can go ahead and add a string option and we can get option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be webhook id we can go ahead and set a description and and we can say the id of your webhook and then we can go ahead and set our min length to 10 and we can go ahead and set our max length to 200 and we can also go ahead and set required to true now we can go ahead and add another string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name in here we can go ahead and get our webhook token we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the token for your webhook and we can go ahead and do set required we're going to go ahead and make that true and we can go ahead and set our min length we can go ahead and set that to 10 and we can go ahead set our max length and that is going to be set to 200 then after that we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes and we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we can do if and we're going to say no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we're going to do permissions a bit field dot flags dot administrator and go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say you must be an admin to manage webhooks and we can go ahead and make this informal as as well next we can do const sub equals interaction dot options dot get sub command after doing that we can go ahead and switch and we're going to go ahead and get our sub and we can go
go ahead and do case and that is going to be create and we can do a colon and down here we can say await interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and do infermal and we're going to go and set that to true after that we can do const name equals await interaction dot options that get string and that is going to be our name string then we can do const icon equals await interaction dot option dot get string and that is going to be our icon url then right here we can go ahead and do pipes and you can put in any discord image you would like so for me i'm just going to go ahead and put an image of a default logo that the webhook will have if you don't actually specify a logo also one other thing here in case you don't want an icon url you can go ahead and set that to false and then after that we can do const channel equals await interaction dot options dot get string and we're going to go ahead and get our channel just like that and then we can do const webhook equals await channel dot create webhook and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our name and that is going to be name we can do avatar and that is going to be our icon and we can get channel and that is going to be channel now we can go ahead and catch and we're going to go ahead and get our error and then we can go ahead and open this up here we can return interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say uh, something went wrong i might be missing permissions then after that we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue we can go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say white check mark and we can go ahead and say your webhook has been created then we can go ahead and add fields and we're going to do name and this is going to be webhook name and that is going to be value we can do an arrow we can open up our name we're going to go ahead and do inline and we're going to go and set that to true then we can actually go ahead and copy this entire field right here and go ahead and paste that down here we can go webhook channel next in here we're going to go and set that to channel we can go ahead and add another field and this is going to be webhook url for our value you can go ahead and copy this link in here and just go ahead and type this out it's going to be https discord.com slash api slash webhooks and then right in here we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to get webhook.id we do slash and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get webhook.token we can go ahead and actually copy another field so we can get it down here and for the final field we can go ahead and say icon and in here we're just going to go ahead and get our icon just like that so now we can actually go ahead and do a wait interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say embeds and we can just say embed it just like that so then after that we can go ahead and open up a try and we're going to do a wait webhook dot send and we can go ahead and say embeds and we can go ahead and say new and we can go ahead and get our embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue and we can set a description and we can say hello from your webhook then after that we can go ahead and finish this off we can catch an error and we can just go ahead and return then after that we can go ahead and break and we're going to go ahead and get a new case and that is going to be edit we can go ahead and open this up with a colon we can say wait interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and set info formal to true then we can go ahead and do const token equals await interaction dot options dot get string and this is going to be webhook token then we can do const id equals await interaction dot options dot get string and this is going to be our webhook id then we can do let new name equals await interaction dot options dot get string and that is going to be our new name string then we can go ahead and do const edit webhook equals await interaction dot guild dot fetch webhooks then we can do await and we're going to get promise and we can do all and we can do edit webhook and then we can do dot map and we're going to get async webhook and we can go ahead and open this up in here we can say if and we're going to do webhook token is not equal to our token and we can say or webhook id is not equal to our id we can go ahead and await interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and then we can just go ahead and copy a glass emoji or a magnifying glass emoji and we can say searching no results found then after that we can go ahead and open up an else and in here we're going to say if no new name then we can go ahead and set new name to webhook dot name and then we can do let old name equals webhook dot name then we can do await webhook dot edit and we can go ahead and open this up we're just going to get our name and that is going to be our new name and just like that now we can go ahead and catch an error so we can do catch error and we can just go ahead and return interaction dot edit apply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say there is something wrong i may be missing permissions and we can go ahead and set that to infermal and after that we're going to actually go ahead and copy the embed we wrote up here and we're going to go ahead and paste it down here we can go ahead and say your webhook has been edited we can go ahead and actually delete everything 
in here except for the webhook name. And in here, we're just gonna go ahead and replace this with our old name. And then we're gonna go ahead and do an error function and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna get our new name. Now we can do await interaction.edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed. And we're actually gonna go ahead and set content to nothing. After that, we can go ahead and break and we're just gonna go ahead and get a new case, which is going to be delete. And we can open this up with a colon. In here, we can do await interaction.defer reply and we can go ahead and get infermal and we're gonna go ahead and set that to true. Then we can do const del token equals await interaction to options that get string and that is going to be our webhook token. Then we can do const del id equals await interaction to options that get string. That is going to be webhook id. Now we can do const del webhook equals await interaction dot guild dot fetch webhooks. Now we can do await promise and then we can do to all and we can get del webhook and then we can do dot map and we're gonna get async webhook and we can go ahead and open this up. In here we're gonna go ahead and say if webhook token is not equal to our del token and then we can go ahead and say or webhook dot id is not equal to our del id then we can return await interaction dot edit reply and we can say content and we can get that same magnifying glass emoji as we had before and we can go ahead and say searching and then we can say nothing found yet then we can go ahead and open up an else and here we can go ahead and do await webhook dot delete and we can go ahead and catch an error in here we can go ahead and return interaction dot edit reply and we can say content and we can say there was an error deleting your webhook i may be missing permissions then after that we can come down here and say wait interaction to edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and i'm just going to go ahead and paste in a construction sign emoji and i can say deleted your webhook just like that all right so with that we are actually done with this entire command one more thing before we restart is right here i did get string we're actually going to go ahead and get a channel so after fixing that we can go ahead and turn on the bot and actually test this out so in the server we can do slash webhook and as you can see we have create edit and delete so i'm just going to go ahead and choose create and we can go ahead and send it in the tutorial bot testing channel for our name i'm going to go ahead and get test webhook in all caps and i'm going to go ahead and leave the icon url blank for now so we can actually go ahead and send it as you can see it's going to go ahead and say tutorial bot thinking and then it's going to say my webhook has been created now this embed is a little bit messed up so feel free to uh, do that however you would like but it's you know it's kind of screwed up but as you can see it's going to say the webhook name the webhook channel the webhook url which is very important we actually have to use this later and then it's going to get the webhook icon so we can go over into the channel as you can see it's going to say hello from your webhook and we have a webhook right here so we can go back in here we're actually going to go and click on the url so for our url it's going to give us all of this information including the webhook token i'm actually going to delete this in the video so this is useless for you it's also going to give me the id the test webhook the avatar the channel id everything that goes with this webhook is going to be in this url so we can go ahead and do webhook again and we're just going to go ahead and edit it so we can get all of the information from here so we can go ahead and get the id we can go ahead and get the token so that's going to be in here and then then we can go ahead and get the new name. So right here, let's just go ahead and give it a new name. So we can do Mr. J Awesome. We can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and say the test webhook name is now Mr. J Awesome. So if we go back into that channel right here, you're not going to notice a difference. Now that's because it's not going to actually change the message that has been sent. But if you were to send a new message on this webhook, it will change. If we actually go back in here right now. The name is test webhook. But if I reload the link, as you can see, the name is now Mr. J Awesome. You can actually go to disco hook right here, as you can see it's discohook.org and you can go ahead and get your webhook url so this is just what i have here you can go ahead and paste it in there and then you can go ahead and give your content a message so i'm just going to go ahead and clear all these embeds and we can say testing the system ha uh, ha ha it really doesn't matter what you say and then we can go ahead and just send it now, as you can see, I'm going to get a message in the channel from the webhook with a new name saying testing system, ha, uh, subscribe. So you can go ahead and delete this and just send a couple of dots. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and send that now. So we can go ahead and try this one more time. So we can go ahead and get our webhook create. I can get our channel. This time we'll do, let's say, this channel. We can go ahead and get the name. So this is going to be icon testing. We can go ahead and send an icon URL. I'm going to paste that ASCII logo in there. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and create. I'll go ahead and open this up for later. We can go in here and as you can see, it's going to give me the new webhook saying icon testing. So now we can actually go ahead and delete this webhook. So I'm going to get the ID. I mean, do webhook and we're going to choose delete and I can go ahead and put that ID in there. Then I'm also going to go ahead and get that token so we can paste that in there as well. And as you can see, it's going to go and say that it has deleted your webhook. So that's so you can make an advanced webhook manager system for your discord.js version 14.
but if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video